Hello, my name is Chris Kiak, and I'm the Vice President of ConnectsCAD with ConnectsTech. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new Remember Me tool that is built on top of Tecla structures that allows model authors, as well as project managers and field superintendents, to easily review, communicate, and store different information about the model. The main purpose behind the Remember Me tool is to allow you to organize things in a way that you're used to seeing potentially on drawings but take advantage of the 3D visualization that the model brings. All right, so let's go ahead and begin by launching the Remember Me tool. Here I have the toolbar icon as seen at the upper left-hand corner of your screen. I'm going to just activate the tool and Remember Me is then launched. After the tool is launched, you can see that there are already some Remember Me groups that have been saved away. Let's go ahead and create our own new one. The very first thing we want to do is we want to name the Remember Me group. And the list is sorted in alphabetical order. So let's go ahead and say 05 New Group. We can then go ahead and set what kind of action or transparency or visualization state settings that we want on the objects that are associated with this group. We could fade things in, we can move things, lower them into place showing like uh, assembly animation. We can turn things transparent, hide or show. All of these things we can control. If you leave it empty, nothing will happen during the action. You can also set temporary colors. This is if you want to highlight pieces in a certain particular color. They aren't permanently set in the object representation, they're just temporary and go away when you redraw the view. If you do want to set a specific object representation, you can load up any of the saved away object representation groups here in the drop-down. If you leave this empty, it's not going to change the object representation. You can also choose whether or not to automatically highlight or select the objects when a Remember Me group is loaded. Here you can write your own descriptive notes that tell more information about this particular group. And then you have the preview images that you can see here below. Here we're just going to say starting point in the model. All right, so now that we have all of our information set here the way that we would like, what we'll do is we're just going to simply press the Save button. When we press the Save button, it creates a new group here in the list, as well as in the drop-down up here. Notice by default there is no preview image, so what we can do is we can use the Get Preview Image. What we'll then do is we'll just capture that image, copy it to the clipboard, make sure the new group is selected here in the preview pane, and then we'll just say get preview. And that will then take that image from the clipboard and associate it to that particular Remember Me group. When you save away a Remember Me group, the camera view location in the model, any clipping planes that have been added to the model view, selected objects, the current work plane in the model, as well as the action and colorization settings are all saved away during that save process. If you want to modify an existing view or Remember Me group, you can just move around in the model, select whatever objects that you want are associated, or even change the work plane at that point, and then just simply hit save again. This will then modify the existing group that is either selected down here or currently in the name of the Remember Me group dialog box. So now at this point, I've changed my camera view location. I didn't press the Save button here because I didn't want to really modify that particular view. So I'm just going to double click my 05 new group. That's going to then zoom my camera location out to that particular saved uh, Remember Me group view location. Now let's go ahead and say that we want to go to some other ones. So if I just double click to any of these, it zooms me to that location. And in this particular case, this Remember Me group had some graphics and dimensions stored away with it. Let's double click and activate our new group. And you can see that we have everything set there. Let's do some different things. Let's go ahead and create some clipping planes here in the model. I'll then also go ahead and move to this particular location here in the model, which is a little bit different than what I had before. Again, if I have the 05 new group selected, I just press save, and now that clipping plane and this current camera view location is associated to that 05 new group. So it modified or updated that existing group. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the work plane. 
So I'll set the work plane using two points. The reason why you might want to reset the work plane is that you have skewed buildings or different areas on the project where you would like to save the work plane associated with the orientation of that building. So here I've picked two points and you'll notice that the work plane has changed. Again if I have the 05 new group selected or uh, here in the name and then I just hit save, it's going to remember my current view location, the clip planes that are set in the model, as well as this work plane. The last thing we'll do here is let's go ahead and select some objects. So we'll select some beams here on this floor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save again. When I press save again, now these selected objects, the clipping planes, the work plane, and the camera view location are all now associated to that 05 new group. Last thing we'll do here is let's go ahead and set an action. Let's do an animation of fading these objects in and let's change them to the temporary visualization state color of cyan. We could then also associate a object representation to, to this if we want to, but in this particular case I'm fine with the existing representation. If we check select objects, that will highlight these objects after the animation and the temporary color have been set. So let's go ahead and do that as well. We'll then just press the save button and all of that information has been saved. So let's test this. I'll go ahead and select a different view. Notice the clipping planes were removed. Dimensions are drawn. Now if we go back to our new group, the clipping planes will be set. The objects fade in. They turn the color cyan and they're also highlighted or selected. So those are the basics of creating a Remember Me group. See the next videos in this playlist to understand all of the different options with the action features as well as adding dimensions and drawing marks or labels in the model.